Hello, and today we'll be looking at the oldest prototype I have of LEGO Star Wars. This is the original LEGO Star Wars game. Uh, this build is from November 2004 for the PlayStation 2. And in it we have the Boga Chase. So this is before the level was decided to be deleted, or we decided to delete the level. So let's have a look at the build. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's uh, not Dexter's Diner uh, as the hub. It's the uh, canteen. So we had a completely different hub in this build, um, which you can see there, we've got the doors and everything. And if you look, you can see all the different levels we have. So if we go to the start, we've got negotiations all the way through the seven levels for episode one. There's Bounty Hunter Pursuit there, got Jedi, Bounty Gunship, Cavalry, six, six levels there for episode two. And in episode three, we have Boga Chase. Now the Boga Chase set, was a set Lego obviously made. Uh, you can see it here and in the level you were going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi riding on the back of the Boga chasing down General Grievous. So let's have a look at the build and see uh, how much existed at this point. Okay well there's no cutscenes at this point. Uh, this is the temporary thing we put in but uh, here we are. Okay so obviously it's just a temporary block out for the Boga and uh, no Obi-Wan or Grievous. But you can see that the level background is actually pretty complete looking. Uh, you can see how the camera moves here too. What's interesting with the Boga Chase is the Boga can run on walls and things. So as the camera moves around the level, and it's a forced scroll, you can see here, it's gone up onto the wall as you run over a gap. So it could be a more dynamic level um, with this camera. You can see you're gonna scale a kind of a cliff surface here before turning and going up through this separatist ship all the time you'd be chasing general grievous ahead of you and then off down this valley so this is all the exterior kind of shots you saw from the film recreated here so it's a pretty big section next you'd be into the sort of more interior sections where you can see the buildings from the movie the sort of various landing pads and things like that now this section, you can just see there's a spaceship here. That would be General Grievous in the final build, not just a, a spaceship flying above. So that's obviously just being prototyped in, just tempted in with a spaceship instead for this section. Also, this section is really, really short. Uh, so there's something not right there. And then you'd end up, this is how a level looks when it's completely un... un there's no art in it. It's just very basically, we call this a block out. So this would be the underground section where Obi-Wan is chasing Grievous through the caves and the caverns with the stalactites and things. Um, hence the low ceiling. But again, this looks like it's just a camera block out. There's no geometry really being built for this yet. So uh, we'll just see if there's anything towards the end of here of note. Um, you can see I can move around. I can move right up to the edge of the screen. All right, that seems to be the end of the level. Yeah, so there's no outro either. Now what I found is, if we go back to the first section, I can go to a view camera, and because it's an on a rails section, the view camera is extremely hard to use, it's very, very buggy. But you can get a look at the level in more detail when it's under my control rather than the forced scroll. And it's pretty complete. So this is the first section we, we just played through. There you can see the Separatist ship. Um, you can see you only see the detail on the sections you would see from the camera point of view, so that's nice and detailed as we swing around more to the back. All the detail goes, there's nothing really needed there. Um, and there's the valley that we saw before, and the level cut off kind of around about here. But there's more around the corner and down this path here. So this would probably be in a longer section too when it was finished. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else. Uh, let's have a look back. Now you can see there, it looks like stuff clipping in, but actually it's the Sky Dome clipping out in the background. So it's not black stuff coming towards us, it's the Sky Dome getting drawn in. Um, let's see if we can see any more detail on the path on the way through. Uh, looks like there's some, is that some Lego? There's a couple of blocks, nothing much. So there's not really any Lego being put in here. Let's see if we can get a closer look on the BOGO model. So extremely temp, just knocked together, just for a sense of size. Obviously it wouldn't look anything like that. It would be a molded piece that would be animated like other uh, creatures that were in the game. And then if we go to the second section, 
I found a way of bugging it out so that it doesn't uh, end instantly. So this is the section, the second piece that, that ended really, really quickly. So here we can sort of again struggle with the view camera and try and get a, a decent look at some more of this level. And you can see off into the distance. Again, a lot of the levels have been built here. Uh, you can see the building structures, the walls, the stuff below downwards you can see isn't textured yet, so it's, not, it's clearly not finished. All these archways look great. Um, see if I can just move through here and these platforms. So they were the landing platforms from the movie. Let's see if we can zoom in. Get any more detail on these buildings. Again, ordinary, ordinarily the view camera would be very easy to use, but all the time the camera's being forced on a rail, which I'm trying to counteract to try and get some viewpoints on this level. Uh, let's see over here. So that snap back is the boga is on a fixed path doing loops around this level, and the snap is when it finishes a loop. We can kind of get inside here and have a look at some of this detail. Um, the moss on the walls and things. And again, this is PlayStation 2, it looks great. All, all the graphics look great, but it seems such a shame that this was never used, not even in the special, uh, the Complete Saga. The Complete Saga, we brought back a couple of levels. We brought back uh, Anakin's Flight, we redid that, and we redid Bounty Hunter Pursuit. And again, they were similar, but also different to how they were in this build, because this build also has Bounty Hunter Pursuit, which again is very different to the final one. Um, we'll perhaps have a look at that in a later video. Um, but none of this got used. Let's see now, if I go back to the main game, because I've kind of glitched it out, it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't end the level instantly before it ended the level around here, but here you can see it's repeated around. So the idea would, would be with this section is you would chase Grievous and probably have to do damage to him during this, uh, section and it would keep looping around this whole circular track until you had done enough damage to him for it to trigger the final section so that way it's not just on a rail and you automatically complete it or there's a failure case this you will keep going that was one of the real difficulties with the game generally was to try and make uh, four scroll sections that didn't require you to uh, have you know amazing skill to complete them. Okay, so that's that's a loop of this. Um, and then this is the final, the third section. Let's just have a look around, see if there's anything more we can see here. No, it looks, looks pretty much just like a temporary sort of block out section. Um, so yeah, we use looping sections. So that if you failed, you didn't fail. You could just start another lap and have another go at it because we wanted kids to be able to play through levels really easily. Okay, this section looks really glitchy, so it doesn't look like there's much else here. So anyway, that's a quick look at the Boga Chase section that never made it into any LEGO game ever, but obviously two thirds of the level were pretty complete graphically. I think one of the main issues with this level and the reason why it never got uh, completed and got dropped was because in two players, what was the other player gonna do? You couldn't have two Boga, Bogas running around the place. Um, we had ideas and thoughts, but again, we had to clear them through Lucas and get permission to do things in certain ways. So for all kinds of reasons, this level uh, ended up not making the cut, unfortunately. But I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please uh, like this video if you like this video and uh, subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.